Yeah, I'm the ice cream man. She <laughs> chunky monkey. She, oh my god. I'm gonna play it. Oh, please don't. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys can't hear it, but it's fine. Oh, good. So all we have to worry about is a, is a terrible movie. Hey guys, it's me again, Julia. It's Buffer Buddies episode 27. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. <sighs> I'm back this week. Um, uh, I, Julia's band, the people, uh, Quarter Game's band, they are talking bad stuff about me last. I heard it. I heard it because. <laughs> No hey, one edited it. I, it. I said, I said nice things. Stop. You said, nice, said things. nice things. I always say nice things, especially uh-huh. when they're lies. Yeah. Yes, always. <laughs> um, I saw. I know everything. It goes through me. I see all the things. Uh, this week we're watching um, this movie that was really hard to find. It was very awkward. Also, Ice Cream Man. We found it on YouTube. I also love that it's Ice Cream Man, nineteen ninety five. Close parentheses. <laughs> no, no open parent- parentheses. <laughs> Three hundred thousand, almost four hundred thousand views, um, and like they didn't fix like their typo. <laughs> right, but all Thank like you. really good comments. Like no lie, I was like going through them. Yeah. They're like, man, this movie is great. Wow, this is the creepiest movie I've ever seen. Like they're it's, really good comments. So I'm like, oh okay, all right. Two K oh. upvotes. That's like out of like yeah. two hundred fifty down. That's like pretty good. All right, I'm hitting play now. Okay, cool. Uh, Here we go. Here goes nothing. Here, we here go, goes nothing. Here we go. Oh. A David M. Goldstein production. Oh. Yeah, so um, while you were getting your uh, your snacks, Jared, um, yes. Coder Geek and I were talking about um, Clint Howard, so the ice cream man, the lead uh, actor in this role, and we were like, huh. Specifically, uh, we were talking about his forehead. Yeah, because so I was like, all right, because I, I looked up Ron Howard, and I was like, are they related? They are, but, like, the only thing that they, like, looks like their brothers is the forehead like the face like nothing else like eyes nose ears nothing it's just the forehead so then coder geek looks at it and he's like wow that looks like star trek frangie like forehead to me and we it, we find out that clint howard actually did play what a did you know it? character he oh. played a frangie and That's i awesome. bet you that was the easiest costume yeah. ever <laughs> They're like, wow, your forehead's already perfect. <laughs> they just spray painted it. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my gosh. English auto generated subtitles. Yes. Oh, this is going to be great. Um, can we talk so, about how um, on the last podcast, Julia, you have a sadder life than me? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> your, sadder your, life? What? Your life is so sad when you talk about your, your, your birthday story. <laughs> That's oh. like. The most horrible thing I ever heard. Oh, oh my gosh. Best thing, though, about last week's podcast is that um, Crystal was in voice. So that was really cool. But yeah, yeah I, I'm a little my, bit like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. Like, whatever. Yeah, fine. I don't care. But um, <laughs> yeah, my, my birthday is <laughs> really sad. Not like, last week. I was though, like, last cringing was so like, hard. Fine. It's like, gosh, <laughs> like how how is how does like. The antisocial person have like a better life than this. I, my friend forgot about me, so I went to Disneyland alone. Where on all the rides, my Disneyland birthday pin. Like, it's the worst thing I ever heard. Yeah, it was, it was pretty. I was like, it was pretty fast forward, sad, fast forward, but... fast forward. Get, gotta get through this. Yeah, it was not a great birthday, but I was like, I'm not gonna just sit at home moping. I'm gonna freaking go to disneyland gosh darn it there's other things you could do like, yeah but that, that was don't like require like self environment yeah, yeah yeah i get it no and i mean like, like for me i i plan things out and i like to have things planned so it's yeah like, yeah same same you know I mean, it, in a yeah. way though like if you know how to have fun on your own that's probably one of the best ways to go to disneyland because like you said you went on all the single rider lines like you're yeah. probably just yeah, blazing you know through oh, like, i was going i was yeah. yeah it was it was completely fine my thing is like everything's yeah. experience based though it's like less about what i'm doing it's more about who i'm doing it with so even if i did that and i was like i went on all the rides i'd still be bored and that'd be like such a dumb thing for me to do yeah well the experience is more than just the rides and stuff the the experience is also the food and snacks the characters you yeah. interact yeah, but all, with doing that all alone is see. like is like the worst thing to me it's like hey this is so really? much fun right guys oh no one's here like i don't know it's all about shared experiences yeah I mean, full disclosure. It's, when it's that like it's like if I didn't man, do it with somebody, then it didn't. But if, 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 if I didn't do it with somebody, did it ever really happen? 
It could all oh, be in man. your head. You could just be a brain in a vat, and it's a program loaded that's, in your brain. That's true. It never really happened. Johnny got his gun. Um, I don't need nuts, but give me gas. Oh, but man. I don't know what's happening. Say something? I'm already confused. Why would you buy ice cream from this guy? Also, I just want to make a remark that as cheesy and probably bad as the movie might be, the fact that there's auto-generated subtitles which only barely correspond to the actual words being said just make it all the better. Like, if you're going to watch a bad movie like this, you've got to watch it with terrible subtitles. It is. Yeah, I'm actually super excited because like, we usually don't watch it on YouTube, and I'm super excited that it's on YouTube for this reason. This is um, like one of, the, one of the good things about watching yeah. it on YouTube. One of the very few, probably, but good thing well, I mean, nonetheless. Um, like, it would be like if we, uh, if there was more U movies on YouTube, we'd probably use it a lot more because of this, but, you know, just obviously we can't do that. Yeah. But it's really bad because we rely a lot on the subtitles. So, like, oh, like yeah. if there's subtitles, we really do rely on them. It's not just like, oh, we can actually listen to it and then just make fun of the subtitles. I'm actually trying to, like, figure out the dialogue with the subtitles and I don't know what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Does it make, like, no sense whatsoever? It doesn't. They said, like, I don't even know. There's some weird things about ice cream nuts and gas. Wait, that was actually the correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, maybe the dialogue's just weird, because you're saying, at least I'm not the wrong fart again. <laughs> That's the first thing mean, that they said. What? Oh, was this, wait. like, some cultural thing from the 60s? Like, like, like a... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! He fell and he no, dropped he his dropped ice cream his in the sand. Ice cream. Yeah. I, I love it, because it was such a fake, like, acting fall. Like... Oh. Oh no, he's wiping off. Oh no. No, don't, don't do, do that. Ew, oh, what is wrong with this kid? Oh no. Wait, is, is this kid wearing a fat suit? Because I, that's like, what I was going to say. I was going to say the same thing. He looks like they put pillows on his shirt. It's not even yeah. a fat suit. They probably couldn't even afford it's that because those are really expensive. It's probably just like a blanket wrapped around him. Yeah. Oral submission, his mom Paul is a book. Because also they don't have the punctuation. Pied Piper, the kids threw pies at him. Get it, Pied Piper party hard tuna. <laughs> the kid is dumb though. Tuna. He they could have just washed tuna. He could have just washed it off. <laughs> and it would have been the best. Oh, well, Sechiyami's here, not in Discord though. When you don't pay the piper. Uh, actually, I think the kids got away. Oh, just creepy old man. Just like, okay. I got goosebumps. Oh no. Hey, Sechiyami's in the Discord. Welcome, buddy. Oh, there he is. Uh oh, what's that gonna be a? Uh, Does this movie even make sense? I, I'm like, I mean, like, I want to know ahead of time if movies don't make sense because it's like <laughs> it doesn't make sense to us, obviously. But is there like is there sense to be even gotten? I, I don't know. Right now, with the kids on that spinny ride thing, I'm imagining the same thing from okay. like Terminator Two, where like the oh. nuclear bomb goes off and they all turn to stone yeah. and then break apart. That's but such it a great. It feels scene. like the pacing is going really fast, and like when that happens, it's like. Uh, the, and the guy ice cream and then it's creepy man and he's gonna kill everyone it's like uh, uh, it's like like it's i don't know it just seems like it's going like crazy yeah like, i guess you could guy? say who's, what's the ice cream man story what's happening frozen oh the ice cream oh, man story wait, is that what? he was in an insane asylum oh okay yeah that's what this is most likely Wait, so is the thing they're injecting into his head like a forehead expanding solution or something? <laughs> it, it was. I'm uh, really sorry, Clint Howard. I, I mean, no disrespect if you're listening, but just you have a really big forehead. He's a donut head. He, he had silicone and Botox or whatever. Oh, yeah, right. Have a darling, have you worked up an appetite? Yes, Dad. Well, boys, if Mrs. Langley and I had known you were coming, we'd have set a place. Uh, that's right. We gotta get going. Be safe, boys. Got oh, speed. what? That's what's his face. The the. What is what's his name? The actor's name. I can't even remember. I should know this. IMDb. Oh, wreck yourself. Yeah. Oops. 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 That's the guy who plays Remus, I think. No. Are you talking about Remus Lupin? Yeah. No. 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 Um. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check myself before I wreck myself. Otherwise, yeah, I'll, I'll check be... yourself before you wreck yourself. Gosh, don't be a Tiffany. I know. It's so embarrassing. Gosh, it really is. Since she's not here, let's talk smack on her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm See that? Uh, oh, what, Ellie... Yeah, Ellie Kong having Ellie a blast Kong there. 
Oh yeah, I woke up early today. We got our we got our tickets for San Diego Comic Con. So anyone that's listening, nice. uh, me and Tiffany will be uh, all four days. We're hoping Ooh, to pick up nice. preview nights on, on an open reg, but that was sold out by the time we got in. But uh, anyone's gonna be there, you can meet a portion of the cast and all of Up Down Left Die. <laughs> all, all of Up Down Left Die. <laughs> well, or at least the the core of Up Down Left Die. We have some other people that are associated with us. <laughs> oh my god! That was amazing. Wait, did you see that? It was a knife push up pop. <laughs> that was a shank. Oh my god. I want that. I want that. I want to be like, oh, it, 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 and when all the bullies pick on me, and I'm like, oh, I'm just eating my ice cream. It's like, boom, it's a knife. Stab, stab, stab. And then when cops come, I don't know. This is just an ice cream cone. Just a push it's pop. It's an ice cream pop. Pop ship coal. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that, Get out. This isn't blood. This is cherry flavor <laughs> dripping down. And you don't believe me. Because I'll have one of those propeller hats and 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 uh, and suspenders, and they'll go, "Oh, he's just a little boy." Why is she okay with this guy just popping up out of nowhere? I don't. Again, it goes back to I'm not really sure what's happening. And I'm like, and she looks the, like a 50 year old. Adult she's a like nurse, rocket. apparently, but. Does the movie not make sense, or are we not paying attention? I mean, it's hard when the subtitles don't make <laughs> sense, and you're relying on the subtitles for context, and it talks about tuna, and there's no tuna in here, so I don't know. Frankly, I'm liking the subtitle dialogue more than the actual dialogue, so. You know? It all works, I guess. Oh no, oh. the dog! It's just me. Oh, oh gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. How is this on YouTube? <laughs> it's so gory! Oh, that's gory. How is that oh, on YouTube? No. Podcast listeners, he just took the dog oh, and no. meat, meat grinded it. And I think he's gonna put it in his ice cream. So stupid. Oh. Jacob Tuna is a very nice boy. It's just what? Dumb. I will admit the twerp does things like a rotten fish. Though. Hey, hey, this is a uh. very nice dinner conversation. Bracer, come on and eat. Why'd you have to call him sir? Oh, okay, so Tuna is a person. Now we know. Wait, they call someone Tuna? They call someone Tuna. Oh, it makes so much more sense though. Because I'm like, why do they keep talking about tuna? I don't understand, but that's someone's name. It's <laughs> pretty good. Is there a name or nickname? It's, uh, probably nickname. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one's worse. Uh -oh. I'm so confused. Instagram, what are you talking about? Because he hasn't come home yet. His mother's worried sick. Did she call the police? Not yet. What's happening? What's happening? I don't want you out of I don't know. Anymore, okay? uh oh. Oh, come on. It's uh In fact, Jacob, why don't you and Jack hmm. take the movies tomorrow? This is uh oh. Oh, they're asking about the creepy man. Go into a G film. Oh, the kid. Oh, is it the kid who fell in the dirt? <gasps> No, no, no. I think the kid that fell in the dirt is named Tuna. It's the kid oh. that was um, the last kid to get ice cream. I don't like it that was... they expect us to remember these names after we introduced them once to us. <laughs> when we didn't even know Tuna was a name. Yeah, they're not doing a good job of establishing these characters. You ever like ever watch those movies where like you watch a whole movie and you're like, um, I don't remember who that is. And there's other movies who do like a really good job. And I was always like super curious. I'm like, the actual nuance of like making sure that your audience remembers your characters names yeah because there seems to be what the heck is happening he's what having the a fudge? weird dream is it a weird dream or is it a flashback wait i mean it could be both but he's dreaming right now why does that person have so many of those spinning flower things i mean it's either that or flamingos because they're at a trailer park so yes. you pick <laughs> i mean maybe those eight of them though you don't need 20 20 of those you only need a you know, a few of them. Oh, okay. So he plays, he pays his rent with ice cream. So he's basically going to make her eat her own dog. Wait, why would you make ice cream out of a dog? How does that even happen? What? I mean, did you see that his other, like when the I kid asked for... I thought he was making for, a steak. No, when the kid asked for like no nuts. Because it gives him gas. It, they weren't nuts. They were the pieces of bugs. Right. That were oh. ice cream. But how does that work with, like, like, they're not, he doesn't, 
Is this? I don't know. <laughs> ice cream men don't make their own ice cream. <laughs> That's how they work. You buy it from someone else. <laughs> <laughs> like the bomb pops, he's not there making bomb pops. <laughs> that's a that's a product that you buy. He's not there making those weird SpongeBob and Powerpuff Girl <laughs> pops that have the eyes that are like off the cosode. That's why they're like that. He's individually placing the eyes. Keeping that It's like the more terrifying. Like you're like, oh man, I want that SpongeBob when you get it. It's like terrifyingly like disfigured. It's on purpose. That's part of his branding. Honestly, though, oh if gosh. they did that on purpose, like, they're geniuses for doing that, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Why does it say president? Is he president. at a school? I think he's at his, his own company. Oh, I thought they were, like, at the school, like, the principal's office. I was like, why is his thing say president? Uh-oh. Oh, does he have a mistress? He has a... He, he has a... He has uh, a mistress, indeed. You said the word before I did, so it just seems <laughs> irrelevant to, to repetitively repeat things and restate them multiple times. That's what we um, do on this podcast. That's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's cooking in the oven, Jared? Oh, let me go get it. Hold on. I actually oh. Go, I oh, yeah. Go what get are your that. snacks? I'll be, I'll, I'll, let me go get them because I had to do a thing. I'll be right back. You guys talk about stuff now. Classified. No dead air. The ice cream van. Like it doesn't even have standard like ice cream van music. It's like this creepy, twinkling not bell thing cream? going on. I feel like that is ice cream music. Really? Maybe yeah. I'm just too old to know what ice cream van music sounds like. So how about some of that world famous hardback I've been hearing about? Oh, and the window to his van looks like a jail cell thing where it's barred. Yeah, That's he's not uh, people. Yeah. <laughs> it's if only staying away from people were that <laughs> that simple sometimes. <laughs> Oh my god. I just... Like... Heartback. What? What is heartback? What? Dummy two scoops? Two bucks, that's it? Man. Those are the day, man. man. Like selling. They're selling like hotcakes, except cold not cakes. See? See, look, it's all, it's all... Whoa. <laughs> There's a little adorable mouse in there. Yeah. That's the only part of it that's adorable, though. Like, that's all melted and nasty. Come, at least keep your truck cold. Like, ugh. What? Oh my god, this is making me... Ugh. Ugh, I'm starting to retch a little, I'll be honest. I never, I never realized how much I don't like this ice cream. What are, what is he? He's like pressing an eyeball into the scoop hey, or something? I, <laughs> I am not sure what? Why? Why? He's topping the ice cream cone with the remnants of an eyeball. Okay, you know what? I think I know why this is bugging me so much. Oh my god. It's are you because, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I have a thing. With sticky hands? Oh my god. And he's just touching the ice cream. Do you know how sticky his uh, you know how sticky his hands are? Oh my god. I am oh, so sorry for that. laughing at you, Julia, but the, yeah. well, I'm laughing at the movie, not at you, I promise. It's just like the the way this is so like disgusting and bad at the same time. It's... Oh he's got really sticky hands and he's gonna oh. touch things and then those things are gonna get sticky. Oh my god. And the officer is consuming the eyeball ice cream. Oh, that's fine. As long as he doesn't get sticky hands. Is he, if he lets that ice cream <laughs> melt on his hands. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a close up of him. Oh, that's, a, that's not a close up we need. The guy's. <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually not okay right ice cream. <laughs> uh, Jared, please come back. <laughs> oh my God, you know when you. When you dry heave and gag and your eyes get really watery, oh dear. this is real life right now. I am so sorry, empathetically. Oh my god. Oh, that made me really uncomfortable. Man, she stank. Well, you should talk. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh and my I guess she's trying to get him to deliver the ice cream, and he's like, no, I don't deliver. My stomach. Oh my god. Um, all right. Whew. Whew. Plain 
Uh, oh, come on, life. Uh, like, there we go. I, I need to like. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can eat ice cream. Actually. For a while. Any other alterations? Oh my gosh. My stomach really hurts now, uh, guys. I'm not okay a, a with Paxson. this. What is a Paxson? The subtitles so you are just. Paxson on a fudgesicle plain sugar or new waffle calling them sugar. Sugar, yeah, I have plain. It sounds like a terrible rap song. Like it's it's. Oh gosh. Any other alterations? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's just like staring in the with like the creepy almost cross eye thing going on. That's just so right. weird. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What is oh. it? What? There's a person. Oh! Oh no! Oh dear. Where is he getting? Oh, that's the kid. Do we want to play the game again where we guess who's going to be the first one to die next? But that kid. Ugh, there's melted ice cream. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, it's on his fingers. No oh, his hands are going to be so sticky. It's oh. running down his fingers right now. Oh, shut up. Sorry, oh, I'm, back. I'm not looking. I'm back. <laughs> What's happening when Hello, I missed? Hello, Jared. You missed, um, you missed quite a lot of about it. We don't need to talk about it. Recap for me and for the podcast listeners. Oh, no, 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 it's not necessary. All right, so I have a literal tower of food. I'm super excited. I'm going to post it to a our Instagram tower. story. A tower I'm of food. I'm glad Hold I on. finished my snacks because I don't think I'd be able to handle them after what I just saw. A literal tower of food. I'm, I'm posting to our Instagram story for those of you okay, that... Okay, good. Yay! Okay. I look forward to it. Okay. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's talk, uh, let's talk about our snacks, guys. So, <laughs> my, my snack that, that uh, I finished eating, which is also on our Instagram story, but if you're listening to this podcast, it's too late, you can't see it now, too bad. That just means always check our Instagram, because it's fun. Um, but yeah, my snack us, was... Um, at Buffer yeah. Buddies, and yeah, check our stories and stuff like that, so we'll do it live, and... Well, I don't know, whatever, I don't care. This is a dumb plug. <laughs> like, if you're listening to this as it's being recorded, which yeah, you it's like they should, should be here. I don't know. Well, if they're not here and they'll just see us like posting food for no reason, I don't know. This is dumb. Um, continue on with your guys' stuff while I post this. Oh, um, my, my snack was a, um, a sandwich that was, uh, baked chicken mozzarella and avocado and then i had a spinach salad and um a fried egg and then um my green smoothie juice and that was my snack for today good stuff yeah sounds tasty how come i can't yeah, spell vegetarian <laughs> because, because it's a terrible word oh sorry i prefer vegetarians sorry. Sorry. Than <laughs> yeah vegetarian is like i don't know i just eat vegetables like vegan is like what's wrong with you yeah. How do you spell it? How do you spell the word? V e g i t instead of table terian. A r i a n vegetarian. I didn't do anything. My autocorrect doesn't like that. <laughs> Your autocorrect is like wrong. Uh, yeah, it's like you never spelled that before. There it goes. Uh, Coder geek. Oh yeah, it's weird. Uh, I just have a beverage, just a, just uh, apple juice at the moment. Mm. Nothing fancy, because I had dinner a little while ago, and I probably shouldn't eat dinner so late on a weekend, but I also shouldn't wake up you in the middle save, of the day on a weekend, so... You should save yeah. your, your food for this podcast. Yeah. I really should. You're I'm going to do that starting next eat, weekend, then. You're not allowed to eat it if it's not on the podcast, but you have to be quiet when you eat it. <laughs> not crunch, 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 nom, nom, nom. Yep. Oh. What is this? Oh, watch out. Oh, look, you know what? Dude? Wait, do you see what's on the truck? You know how like ice cream trucks are supposed to say "Watch out for children." This one just says "Watch out, children," because the four good. is painted over. Uh, that's pretty that's cool. clever. That's that's the first good thing about this movie, I think, so far. Yeah, I don't. My, I didn't realize I had such a problem with m melted ice cream, and ugh, hands, and oh my god. Ugh. What is this? What, what is that? Like a stick against? Oh, the door. Never mind. That was weird. Why did it just like zoom into that, but not give us any? Oh. The magical chest of secret ice cream yes, wonders. That's lit. Oh no. That looks like a Starbucks frap in the middle. <laughs> in between the dead guy and the yep. other dead guy. 
<laughs> with the big right. green straw thing coming off. Are you guys off. ready for what I got? Yeah, what do you have? All right, so I have the amazing tower of Jared's food. Every every, every week at work we have uh we have like we have catered lunch, and this week we had uh, not pie, which are like little meat pies and whatever. And then whenever there's anything left over, you could just take it home. So all that was left was these vegetarian not pies. I'm holding it up to the camera. I'm pretty excited. Oh, nice, about that. nice. That's look um, yummy. And then some, I guess we switched vendors for like, or like we, we just use another, like one of those catering services. So the, uh, for the previous one, we didn't use it for a while. So they got scared and they sent us a cake and I stole that as well. So I, I took, <gasps> it, it was sitting there all day. And oh, so it was like the end of the day, I'm good. like, of course I'm going to take the biggest cake. Big, I said, I took the biggest slice there was left and it fills a whole bowl. And then um, that was like a couple days ago. And then this one, I have another cake and a lemon bar and that was from the the same place as the knot pie so i have a bunch of cake and uh this pie thing yeah that knot pie looks good oh no he killed the, the little yeah i took a too. bite i think it tasted kind of like um like a lasagna kind of a thing oh interesting mm -hmm. hey, hey. it's real hot it's real hot you should cool it down by having some ice cream with it oh my god I, oh, oh yeah that's right i also have ice cream in the freezer Get your mom and dad. I don't think you need it. We don't need to talk oh, about ice cream. <laughs> see, Jared, see what you missed. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Why do well, they I'm keep glad. Maybe I'm glad. In? I'm so confused. They keep like cutting to like a random object, but not like, and then they cut out, but it has nothing to do with the scene. I'm really confused. How long have you oh. Been here? I'm gonna get your mom and dad. The ice cream head. That sounds like a terrible threat. Alright, hiding in the bushes. There's someone behind you? Oh yeah, there is. So what do we do? My dad will know. I am so confused by this movie right now. This almost feels like, right? I mean, the way that this is shot and these kids, it's just reminding me, because also also because Stranger Things just came out, season two. So it just reminds me, like, I just want this to be like, all of a sudden to be like, Stranger Things crossover. <laughs> oh, so now the story changes to you left work on time, but you hung out at a bar for four hours? My goodness. <gasps> Miss no shoes on the porch, you know the rules. <laughs> oh, man. Also, that's what's her face from Conan, the barbarian. The bar. Mom, I saw Valeria, Valera, Valeria. What? What are you talking about? Valeria? The barbarian? Valeria? Valara? I don't know what you're that's, saying. That's the mom. Sounds right. Valara? You're that, just saying the know. same word. I don't understand. I was talking. Coder Geek knew what I was talking about. Sort of. It's been ages since I, uh, Conan. Anyway, so here's something useful oh, for the now audience. Now I know Pro why tip. they did that. Okay, so they cut to his oh. shoes because now they're going to use it in the next scene because he kicked him off because his mom's Valeria. like, don't yeah. bring your dirty shoes in here. So he kicked him off and threw him outside. So now the ice cream man's going to know which one his house is. What a fool. What a fool this child is. At least when the ice cream man gets his mom and dad, they won't be fighting anymore for tiny silver lining. They'll just be fighting for their lives. Ooh. Well said. Well said, Julia. <laughs> see, you wanna, gonna see can I tell shoes. the audience a pro tip about cooking? Uh, I, would, I would love a Jared's cooking corner. Let's do okay, this. So, yes. so straight up, yo. I, I, maybe this is obvious, yo. but it, it wasn't to me. Um, so yeah, if you, have a, if you have a recipe that says, like, put it in the oven, it's, it's for, like, 30 minutes or, like, an hour or, like, all day. What you could do is you could put it in the microwave just a little bit less than what you think it should be, and then you stick it in the oven for five minutes instead. No, it tastes exactly no, 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 the no, no, same. No, 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 you know, the oven versus the microwave work in different ways, and so sometimes, like, you get something soggier because you put it in the microwave before you put no, it in that, the that's oven. that's why you put yeah. it in the oven. But the reason you put it in the oven for so long is often to bake away so much of the moisture. Like, if you just yeah. put it in the microwave, the moisture makes, stays in it, yeah. makes it soggy because, and hot yeah. at the same time, and, like, overcooks the center have you while done leaving this? the outside. Have cool. you done this? What? Because I'm telling you, have you done this? Because I'm telling you, I do this all the time. It is exactly the same. Like, no, the frozen I pizza. What are you doing it for? I bake like, things correctly, Jared. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm saying, I, I don't... 
you can't argue. Okay, like, well, this is empirical knowledge. Yes, but I've done, yes, I've done side will. by side comparisons, and they're exactly the same. It's the same of thing. What? All it is, Can you answer that question first? Because I've like no idea literally what anything like. that you bake in the oven. Like it could be like anything from frozen pizzas to like yeah, it's mostly frozen stuff. I guess you're right. You can't put like. A, okay, you know, if hand, it's frozen like, stuff, like, yeah, like yeah. I can uh, slightly understand that, but yeah, like if you're gonna be baking a meatloaf from scratch, don't fuck put that shit in the microwave. Yeah, that's and not gonna then work. You can't put dough put in the microwave. Yeah, you're right. There you right. go. Okay, so there you go. Like, if, yeah, let's if, put some so parameters on this. It has to be like, frozen. Frozen foods. Yes, that's what I meant. Specific, I was. That's what I meant. I, I should say that. But yeah, you can't like I made a pizza dough and you put it in the microwave. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Because I get that yeah. because like because then that makes sense because when something's frozen, you want the water molecules to be loosened up and that's what a microwave does because it vibrates the water molecules no, back and forth. Yeah, it is. That's, yeah, how, that's, a microwave how, that's works. how a microwave works. That's it, how a microwave works. It works with the water molecules vibrating back and forth. It specifically warms up water, which is why no, it, it cannot... warms up literally everything in the microwave. It's no, just... it does not. The microwave frequencies specifically are tuned to warm up water. They transfer heat into water. Yeah. The water it then disperses that water. into the food. That is why you can't microwave things which aren't at least a significant proportion water. Uh, the microwave simply won't heat them up. Okay, real quick, did you see how that kid just fell? I'm sorry, but I just needed the movie because you know how he fell earlier into the sand? That was Tuna, though. That, that wasn't this no, guy. It's this, no, no, it's this, this kid, kid it's though. This, it's this fake fat kid. <laughs> this fake fat kid ran straight into a rack, grabbed it, spun, fell down, and just stayed motionless on the ground. Like, oh. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's fat because they were like, hey, we'll pad you up so you could fall down a lot. Like, that, uh, his maybe. fatness is a utility that of his character. He keeps falling! What, no wonder, he needs that extra cushion. I mean, to be fair, as a kid, your body's still growing, you're still trying to adapt to your own sense of proprioception. Okay. You're, you're very... He's fallen yeah, four still. times. Are you, are you yeah. like, trying to defend this kid because you fell down a lot when you were a kid? I, I, I'm trying to apply some semblance of, of logic to a movie which probably doesn't deserve any of it. So I, I'm just going to stop right there. Cause like, this, this kid's this an idiot, and you're like, well, some kids, like, fall down, and they can't help it. I mean, I was a klutz as a kid, but isn't everybody? Yeah, but I didn't fall down. <laughs> yeah, I still a klutz, thing. so. His shoes are sticking out. You can see them. Oh my goodness. But back Ugh. to the Jared giving terrible cooking advice corner. Oh, um, you know what? Screw you then. Dude, I'm telling you, it works great. No, no, no. I, I, I'm trying to, like, an anecdote as an aside to that. Like, uh, there was one point where my friends and I were, we were, uh, this was maybe freshman or sophomore year of high school. We, we still didn't really know what we were doing in the kitchen much yet. But um, we had, we were starting, like, a potluck thing. So we wanted to get, like, a gigantic sausage thing baked and then wrap it with stuff but mm -hmm. we basically took it straight from the freezer and we're like oh yeah we can just put it in the microwave and defrost it because the microwave has a defrost setting the microwave defrost settings are stupid and dumb because when we took it out of the microwave there was like was a solid funny. half no no there was like a solid half inch on the very outside of the entire thing that actually was cooked and then the yeah. rest of it was like just completely raw and frozen okay. still. It was so hilarious. then segue that to what Seichi said in chat, which was quote, when the center is always cooked less than the outside. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly right. There you go. That means you just put it in the, well, did you put it in the center of the microwave? Uh, yeah, it was one of those where it has a, the rotating dish automatically. Yeah, you, so it like slowly spins around. But did you put it around. in the middle of that though? I think we tried to, but Wrong. That's, that's also, that's why. You got to put it on the edge. What? Yeah. It, How do you put something it, on the edge if it takes unevenly. up the whole plate? Yeah, uh, then it, it cooks the whole unevenly, plate though. Like, if no, we're just trying to defrost it, that would make one part warm up more than the other, and it would only defrost, like, part of it, not defrost no, the whole it, thing, it, which it, was it, our it, idea. It's more random. It's more like it's spinning around on, on like, an off-center axis, so it's even more, like, distributed. You're less likely to have one spot that's getting hit a bunch of times. Because it's something... If you put it in the center... If you put it in this... If you put the center of like rotation on the center of the plate, that means if something's cooking the center, it's always going to keep hitting the center. It's never moving the center of your food. But if you put it on the edge of the thing and it's going around like this, um, then it's always just hitting it in random places. That helps it get uh, I see, and, I see. And more even cook around it. But again, it's like you also yeah, it's the, the frost in microwaves is dumb because all it does is lower the wattage. That's all. That's all the right. frost is is lower. So it's not there's no like special thing about it. It just puts out less energy to make it slower. But that's the other thing too, is like when you do like, this is really great for like pot pies, 
frozen pot pies that are like put in the toaster oven for 45 minutes you're like i don't what what a single serving thing takes 45 minutes you put in the microwave for five minutes or you look at the microwave settings what i normally do is i'll look at like because if it says like microwave uh, and, then, and then toaster oven also by the way it's really it's also helps a lot if your toaster oven has convection setting that's also pretty important but yeah, you don't have to but it amazing makes it it makes it a lot better because you guys are saying oh you want it to be crispy that's what does it it does it in like two seconds all you'll like it'll immediately make whatever like is soggy from the microwave like immediately crispy Wait, in, like, so are you minute. saying oven are you referring to a toaster oven or an actual oven? yeah oh, you just said toaster convection oven. setting oh yeah. okay should have started with that. Well, either, both my oven and toaster oven have convection setting. Well, that's why I'm saying, because that's when you said convection. Then I was like, oh, you're using a toaster oven. I was just mm. thinking you were only talking about. Oh, uh, I well, thought you meant like an actual, like, honest to God what's, oven. What's oven. really the difference. They both, one is just going to take longer to heat up. Yes, but, but you do. But, but like you said, your setting, methods. you have a setting for it, but a lot of toaster ovens don't. But yeah, I mean, like, if you're using the setting that says. And you need to up your toaster setting. oven game because you got a weak, you got weak sauce. It's like the best setting, but if you don't, if you don't have a toaster oven convection setting, I highly recommend it. Anyways, um, I mean, so if like, you have an oven, you don't <laughs> need the toaster oven to have a convection setting. But I guess it, it takes no, less I, time, huh? I use the so toaster oven nice. far more than the oven because it's just like to, it's oven quicker. takes so long to yeah. Like the pre thing is like a like a that takes almost as long as doing whatever. So what I do though is often if it'll give me if like a frozen pizza has like a microwave and a toaster oven setting. I will I will do half of the microwave and then half of the toast like the oven setting you know so if it's by 10 minutes in the <laughs> in the oven and two minutes in the microwave I'll do one minute in the microwave and 2.5 in the oven. He's laughing at me, not you. No, I, I, know, I, I saw him off. Not you. Yeah, so I was wondering why you flipped him off. I'll, I'll like, look at you. I don't even. Yeah, why I are they swear smashing I'm not this? At you. I just, I'm, oh, I'm so confused with so what's going on in the movie that I'm, it's, it's hilarious because they're just like smashing all of the ice cream. Oh, I feel bad for him so now. Sad. He's like this mentally handicapped man. He's like, why, why you smash all my stuff? His that character actually really sort tough. of reminds me of uh, George from Of Mice and Men. Yeah, Aww, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I'm just thinking like someone just smashed all his things and he's just like, but I worked really hard on this. Yeah, putting dead people in it. Hard yeah, work. Yeah, I guess. Ugh. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh my god, all the sticky sorry. things. Oh, fuck, it's disgusting. Are you just sorry you didn't find anything? You boys have the wrong like, this doesn't seem like a good movie at all. Where were you last night around six? That that mixer thing came out of that vat surprisingly clean, like it was sparkling. And if it came out of an ice cream van, it's gotta have stuff. Yeah, that should not have been that clean. You have to understand, the people get pretty uptight when there's a missing child. But I'm the ice cream man. I make children happy. Today, you ruin the happiness of those children for many days to come. And the subtitles, why are you, why are you bothering this cool boy? <laughs> He's such a cool boy. You know, I never thought about him like that. Yeah, I bet you didn't. Call his number tomorrow. Tell him what happened. Sure to see you. Aww. Wow. Yeah, also... I I kind of feel bad for him, even though but he's... I, but I don't, because pissed. he's literally putting dead things in yeah. his ice cream. Well, this scene, like, out of context is really, really sad. Like, yeah. that would if, explain if the texture. Something, yeah, let's say, like, he was just... he You know, he served his ice cream fine. He wasn't killing anybody, killing dogs, putting it in his ice cream. He was just slightly off, and then this happened, and no. then that caused him to be like, well, screw you guys, I'd get it, and then I'd, yes, feel bad for him. But he was literally kidnapping people yeah, yeah. and killing they dogs. Yeah, they should have like, started with the scene, <laughs> and then it would have been, like, a completely different movie. It'd be so sad. Yeah. Yeah. But also, yeah, using his own logic, what if he? Did, I don't know what happens in this movie. I'm pretty sure he, he killed the kid or whatever. That's his own clients. <laughs> You're hurting your own business, you idiot. Right? Kill literally anyone else but the kids. Yeah. At first, you're like, oh, he killed the creepy guy from the park because maybe that guy was like a pedo or something. But now he just straight up killed the kid after. And it was okay. <laughs> yeah, he no should. Pro he should be protecting the kids. He yeah, should be the mururderer he... that protects his clients. 
yet, but nah. I can't imagine. Happy client is a returning client. Yeah. I, have, I don't. I do not live. understand how ice cream men make enough money to like even like afford gas. How does that business work? I honestly doubt that it does. But they still exist. Uh oh. Oh, this is a weird happy, like, flashback happy, happy. or dream. Flashback slash dream. It's probably yeah. his version of a flashback, but they're going to be slightly distorted. It's like. Ugh. Oh, can we not with the gross melted ice cream like on the floor? It is such a mess. Oh, can is it the ice? Up? Is it just because it's ice cream on the floor, or is it because of context? Oh, there's just so so many things. I just. Oh my god! So it's just because it's a mess. It's a mess, but it's a sticky mess. Oh man! And I it's just. Julia mentioned earlier she has she has issues with sticky surfaces and well, I get that, but I mean it's whatever. Well he didn't kill the kid. Don't worry. He's keeping the kid alive. For some reason. Was he gonna Oh, <gasps> oh no. no! He's gonna put the kid in the ice cream blender thingy. But why? No but is he what is his motive? Oh, He's just making them watch. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's not gonna hurry him. <laughs> That's subtitles. So the subtitles said. This is he great. He said, "I'm not gonna so hurt you," but it said, "Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurry you." But why is the why is this kid here? He kidnapped him, but I guess um. Aww. Nice kid. Um. So. Ice Cream Man killed the creepy guy at the park. And then he was just giving this kid some ice cream, but then that kid saw evidence. And so then we thought what we saw next was Ice Cream Man just dragging this limp body back into the truck. Oh, oh no. I think but he's going to kill kid himself. Has the mindset of killing the Ice Cream Man. Kid's going to get revenge. Here's this cone that was on the floor. Oh no, don't. Oh, don't get no. the ice cream oh, off no. the floor. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, even I'm cringing at this. Oh. Oh, my God. oh, Jared, can you just like fast forward like a little bit? Por favor. We can't because the people watching it with us. Yeah. <sighs> Everything <sighs> fast forward. No, I'm kidding. No. Oh I mean, it's God. not that it's bad. It's like gonna make me gag. It just, this guy's dumb. Dude, his head's so close to those spinning blade things. <laughs> I'm sure if he if he sliced a little bit off, there's still enough to go around. Like it's fine. It probably actually like it'd make him look handsomer. Like even out even out that that big forehead. I mean, people did tell him to shave his head. Oh lord! Stop it! No, sorry. Get out! Get out! I was trying to lighten the mood. I hope it worked a little bit. Oh my god, my stomach hurts really bad. I'm like. I'm oh, all this gagging is gonna be a great ab workout for me today. This guy. Oh my god! What a demented fudge cake. What? Did he look at his hands? Did he lick his hands? No. Did you look at his hands as he's oh, no. saying like you know Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior? If you looked at his hands. He has blood dripping from the middle of his palms, where the oh. nails for crucifixion oh, were. Oh, what a joke. Oh. How horrible. I mean, uh, what a there are some things where, like, actually, there. I think there are some parts of the world where crucifixion, like, during Easter is actually reenacted with actual nails oh, and dang. people actually getting nails. Yeah, like, really, people. really, really devote. But he just had, like, paint on his hands. Yeah. Whoa. Why'd you say whoa like that? Because that was a really cool giant rocket ship toy. Yeah, he was like, whoa, I want to play with that rocket. That, what, can I, what, are you gonna let me, can I try pushing the button? Hey, it's a, it's a sticker for body glove. Yeah, I was looking at that. What's happening? Is that that's, even that, a thing? That's totally that 90s, thing? like. Yeah. Hey, it's like a, it's a, like a glove for your body. Put it on. It fits like a glove. Go surfing, I think. What is forgive this? Forgive your, your visual, your healthy thing, Hamboy. Oh, <laughs> I know. Hamboy. 
<laughs> I'm boy. It's I'm boy. Wilson is not letting you get us all the grown ups worried about their stupid problems. What we need to do, just catch one Phil. Just catch one Phil, you guys. And not as in P H I L L, it's just F I L L. Just catch a Phil. Oh, did yes, you see it now? Prince. Prince, yeah, he's not the ice cream man anymore. It's the ice mm. cream because he has a little kid, and I think he's gonna try to um, race that kid as his own ice cream man. Also, can I just say the way those rockets are positioned on the bikes as they're pedaling just looks really um, awkward. Dangerous. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. I feel like one of them's gonna go off, and the rocket's just gonna shoot the kid in the face that's riding yeah. that bike. I mean, come on, it's not rocket science. So oh, wait. Maybe it is. Okay, what is he pulling out of the uh, truck? Is it a, a ice body? Cream. It's all ice cream. Okay. He's like, here's your ice cream delivery. I love how you know it's not heavy because his arms are showing it's not heavy, but his legs yeah. are trying to act that it's a heavy object he's that like, he's I'm carrying. a real good actor, but it's like filled with the, it's pillows. It's probably all they could get. It's, so everyone, it's, it's all the pillows. pillows. <laughs> bring your pillows to the set tomorrow. We need everyone, everyone to bring all your pillows. Everyone's got to bring pillows. Uh, we gotta, we're gonna got to duct tape some pillows to this fat kid. I mean, sorry, he's not fat, but he will be fat. Um, we need pillows for the bodies. Everyone just bring pillows. Pillows, pillows, it's, we're so low budget. Pillows, pillows, pillows. It's a pillow pillows, pillow party. Please, pillows. Sleep over. And then the, the um, director speaking? himself as people leaving. He's like, pillows tomorrow? Pillows tomorrow? He's shaking their hand. Pillows tomorrow? Actually, pillows? the director is probably made up of pillows. Like, he is <laughs> a pillow man. It's just like, should we, should we, should we do, should we, should we, should we shoot this movie? And it's like pillows, like a face drawn on, just like. Oh. <laughs> he just stabbed the pillow. Where these kids get these, like, like, berets? And like, I don't know. They're, they're like, they're well equipped. Soldiers. I know. They're, okay, yeah. wait. Yeah, they're this so well equipped. Body. They want to talk headphones and stuff. This is what? It's ice cream. What is happening? I told you it was ice cream. You were I'm right. Actually, this is actually what creepier than a body. It? Sprinkles. Yeah, it is. <sighs> what? Okay, okay. I'm confused because why? Is the ice cream he was carrying around in a plastic bag completely not melted? But all the other times he has ice cream, it's yeah, disgustingly just... melted. Well, I mean, you can you can take ice cream out of a freezer and it stays solid for a few minutes at well, a time. Well, not his ice cream. His ice cream not... is soup cream. <laughs> he, <doesn't know>. he, <laughs> he hasn't cream. figured out the ice part of his ice cream. No, that's why that. he's failing. Uh, but speaking of pillows, I actually bought a new pillow today, and I thought it was very appropriate for oh, the. Oh, are you going to share this to the podcast? Is it very comfy? You? Yeah, here you go. Look. Oh, oh, you're actually using it for the podcast. Okay, I was yeah. like, this is not relevant. Is it memory foam or what kind, yeah, of, what kind of? It is. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. It's memory right. foam, but it's not too hard because I had a one that was like way too firm, and it actually like made my neck hurt more. But That's this one's weird. like. So that must have not soft. been like maybe not uh, all memory. I don't know. Memory foam has a trait of like compressing down to like nothing to the point where like most memory foam but, beds uh, actually aren't memory foam. Like they are just like one eighth memory foam and the rest is just foam because what happens you just sink right through the memory foam the memory foam just compresses yeah. to nothing i think i think what it was was Your it's head like heavy enough to push the, down. the level of like density in the memory yeah. foam i guess so i memory Ugh. foam pills yeah they're great because they, they puff right back up yeah and originally um, they mine right. do get kind of smashed but then you just wash them and yeah. then they're like they're boom they're all puffy again oh cool i um my friend in the back in cali uh, she had like memory foam everything and her bed was memory foam and I like swear every time I'd spend the night it was like the best sleep of my yeah. life yeah yeah dude that's that's what yeah, when I got it before I got a memory foam cozy. yeah I she had like two foam. layers like, of memory foam I so need it was like this memory bed. foam on memory foam yeah yeah that was great I remember this sounds now. like an amazingly comfy bed yeah it was super nice but I think like, the thing that's really better now to get on to is like it's not memory foam it's all the new beds it's like the the lisa and all that i think those are better casper so, lisa yeah, casper lisa i think the lisa others. is the one that's rated the best but they're they are like a mixture of memory foam and like latex huh. oh, interesting. so those are supposed to be better yeah. but they are harder to get onto because they're not bouncy so like you can't like yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. i mean like when you get onto a bed you just kind of like scoot over but a memory foam you sink in and you're like no trying yeah. to like move over it literally absorbs can't. all like yeah. your motion for sure it's like it's like quicksand you're like no 
Wait, did he just die? Like, there's a cemetery pit with ice cream no, on it. No, that's, um, so he had, like, this portrait and then, like, a sh ice cream shrine at his place. I guess Who? it was Who's his grave predecessor. Was that? His predecessor. Yeah. So, oh like, God. ice cream king as, as opposed to him being ice cream prince, you mean? But I think he put the ice cream prince because he has that little kid that he's going to now try to make into the ice cream man. Oh, he's trying to yeah. convert that kid into. Yeah, oh, yeah. this he's movie makes his so own much more sense now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's also massively yeah, maybe more the, like, creepy. Like you said, like there's like bugs in there. Like maybe he just sucks at making ice cream. It's not intentional. He's like, I gotta figure this right. out. Maybe. Like, maybe. MC, like if he if he turns out not to be like the worst guy ever, I'm gonna cry because this movie could be. Or very you know sad. what? What what if what I'm if he what better if be like a bad about guy? it all wrong? What if like that one vat of ice cream was just open because that was actually the trick ice cream to get all the bugs to crawl into it. Yeah, a honey pot, a literal honey pot. Yeah, yeah, a literally ice cream honey pot. And then, yeah. <laughs> I like that, Jared. He's work. actually like, like really that. smart. He's like the best ice cream man ever. Yeah. He's murdering wow. the people who are attacking his clients. He has a honey pot for bugs. Yeah, he's he, like he a super his, cool guy. Yeah, he's like the coolest guy. I'm so sad that the cops yeah. came in and smashed all his stuff. Yeah, the dog he killed probably had rabies. You know, let's, yeah. let's be real. It was probably a vicious dog that attacked children. You know? It probably, yeah, and these yeah. kids are just messing stuff up. Gosh, these kids are so well equipped for this. Like, how do they, they have like Man. recon gear? Like, what is happening? <laughs> Man, he would have got away with it too if it weren't for all, for the kids. For these these marine kids. Who are really, really like, like, just they have, like, rich headsets. kids that have everything. Yeah, because like okay, this is 1995, and she had like a DSLR. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, with the flash and everything. Like. Yeah. And they've got yeah. these nice hats. The berets like with outfits. patches. But at, in 95, that was that was like, let me show you the privilege of being super, super yeah. well economized. Yes. Oh, oh, oh no. What? <laughs> the kid does not have a gun. Oh, wait, that's the best scene ever. That was like a James Bond bike. That was cool. Wait, okay, podcast listeners. What is happening so in this cool. movie? Wait, one of the kids was just on a bike with his rocket attached to it. A car is coming. The car is not coming fast. It is not right next to him, but the kid starts screaming and then shoots his rocket at the cop car. And the cop's like, oh, the kid has a gun. End scene. It yeah. was like very James Bond esque of like the bike just launching a missile like that's <laughs> a toy rocket. It was really cool. It happened all so fast though. It was like kid riding bike. Oh rocket launch. Oh you have a gun. It's like it was like so like within three seconds. The other thing that <laughs> I didn't get was like I oh man. He could why was he on the wrong side of the road to begin with? I don't know. But you know he, why he should have been able to see the car like, from like a long over. Yeah, yeah. Right? He, he but just it was the car far away. Far away. It was. Like, it wasn't even close to him. <laughs> it wasn't like, yeah, it was like the car came out of nowhere, like around yeah, a corner. the car was like just coming around and the kid's like, ah! Straight and then line. I love how the cop's like, well, the kid has a gun. If that was today, that kid would be dead. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's too. Like, yeah, well, the kid has a gun. Definitely. Let's Let's stop and like not light him up, you know? Yeah. Good <laughs> lord. This is definitely an an anachronistic movie for sure. Explain. Anachronistic, where like it doesn't belong in the time of us watching it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I mispronounced. I don't it think it belongs at anyone's time ever. With this girl, this kid has a phone now. What's happening? No, it's that, one of those... that's the camera. That's the camera. Oh, it's. <laughs> No, I thought I thought it's that was a cell phone. phone yeah, I thought it was a brick cell phone. Wait, maybe. I thought it was the flash. I thought she was holding it, so like the flash. No, what? Up. What? No, trust me. This kid has a cell phone. It's the oh most insane God. movie. I hope she they has a satellite phone too. Yeah, yeah. It's. Did laptops exist in 1995? I feel like they didn't. E no, they they've existed since like the 80s. Yeah. Nowhere but nearly not, as good quality as they are now, needed, obviously. But like, you needed but to carry the battery with you. Like the charging. Yeah, I mean, board. I say they, those weren't very commonplace. I mean, those like fat laptops. When did those come out? Was that? I guess that's around 1995. So maybe. She yeah, was... I mean, my friends in high school mostly had like power books and stuff, and that was like early 2000s. So they've been around for quite a while. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, this guy is dragging me down, man. Come on, man. You don't even know your own business. Like, you don't right? even know what to charge. What was that in the movie? Oh, we have four oh, by that six. Scene it's did like not so need to be told. like unnecessary. Just be like and she, four by they, six is right there. Like I don't understand. She could have. They could have just shot the scene of her walking out and like oh, uh, and uh, like having pictures. Like his own. Oh no! Like, 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 he's gonna just own. He's gonna give them ice cream. Poisoned ice cream, I imagine. So far, unless I missed like I mean I, whatever I missed. Um, this guy's like the nicest guy ever. I haven't seen him really do anything wrong. <laughs> just out of context, he's a really nice guy. He's like the nicest guy and everyone just being yeah, real mean to him. I'm like so it's on like, his side right now. You know now. what it is? It's like uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. It's just they're actually nice people. They're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, like, that's like, I mean, yeah. like, I mean, I might have missed very key information, but like my edited version that I'm seeing because I went up and got food. I'm like, why is everyone so mean to him? Who, this, I'm leave- sorry, who opens a piggy bank like that? And how oh, does the piggy bank even get like like cracked open by hitting it against carpet? Right. Where's the film? Film? What? what? The, the, no, I want to go back. The kid's fat suit was all like lifted up off his body. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> he looked like I a turtle. No Can I go back? Can I go back? No, don't go back. But it's so good. <laughs> it's gonna ruin the buffer. It's fine. No one does it. I'm jumping out to 54, 54 minutes. To watch, watch the fat kid. He's like a turtle. <laughs> 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 oh, you were right. You were totally right. <laughs> Where did his head go? <laughs> that was great. We it reminds me of like oh Dana Carvey God. doing the turtle turtle thing. Yeah, oh exactly. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was perfect. Worth it. Sorry, you guys. We, when we went jump back, we jumped back to 54 minutes if you're watching the YouTube version. Just go back to the kit where the kid has a turtleneck. <laughs> Literal turtleneck. Oh, man. Is he going to give that lady some cream? Ew, Jared! Jared come on, Ew! Jared. Tiffany's Ew. not here. <sighs> I know, I... Ew, yikes! <laughs> I think she just gave him the cold shoulder, though. No, she winked at him. He gave her the cold shoulder. Gosh, get give, with it. Give her the hunk of junk. <laughs> hunk of hey, junk out of here. Hey, get the hunk of junk out of here. Hey, hey, ice cream, come on. And he's going to kill this guy because he is a cheater. Oh, my gosh. What do you do? Oh, what? What? What the frick did he just do? Uh, for did he, oh, like, waffle cones. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, why do you have a waffle iron for the waffle cones? Oh, I checked out Ice Cream Man. Couldn't find Squat. But that weird lady with the dog? I remember she. Oh, this is the movie, the thumbnail. Oh, this is weird. You're talking about the nurse. Yeah, Nurse Wharton. I called and checked on her nursing huh. classes. She had a career from 1950 to 1993. It's like the sequel to Coneheads. Oh my god! Ew, he got it in his eye! He got blood in his eye! I don't know, it's just grenadine, remember? Yeah, it's just grenadine. Uh, okay, that's fine. Is he killing bad people? Is he like one of those, like, I kill you because you like... He's totally killing bad people! This is he's a cool kind movie. of like an anti-hero then. Sort yeah, of? as I was saying, like, 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 if he's just like randomly killing people, then it's like, yeah, he's a jerk. But he's kind of doing that. Like, obviously, it's like, oh yeah, you shouldn't do that. But like, he's doing that character is like, I punish the wicked. What the? Oh my! Oh, it's that's why he wanted the film so badly. That was. Oh. This is a picture of a uh, doggy style podcast listeners. Why? <laughs> I can't imagine like doing that on like a film camera. Like, gotta set up the exposure. Like, <laughs> gotta set up so the much work. Second yeah, <laughs> gotta get the the bubble, the bubble press, and we're gonna do a long exposure here. We're gonna just like trying to like set that up with like a film camera. <laughs> yeah, the secret ingredient oh, so is, is people. My kid. He's all oh, bloody how though. The kid is. Is it cocaine? Because that's what it looks like. Oh. Oh, 
I like how he's all bloody and like the kid's like, whatever. I'm making ice cream. <laughs> right? I think that kid is just doing the thing where it's like, yeah, I'm just gonna like please the dude, otherwise he's gonna kill me. And I kind of want to stay alive as long as possible. And I kind of want to learn how to make ice cream too. So it's kind I of a win-win. That's a good because advantage of the tactic also. Ice cream man just said, be careful because that blade will take your hand off. And then the kid started giggling. I think kids, the, this, this the kid is the killer. Creeper. The kid is the killer the whole like, time. This is violating so many OSHA safety standards right now. Yeah. The, none of <laughs> yeah Cause at first when he were like, we learned that he like, he, oh, gross. Ew. Why? <laughs> Oh. What is this? Oh. That it's color terrible. is awful. Oh my there's god. There's like sediment at the bottom of that. Oh, I think colander. he's. Oh, that's he teeth. dissolving people. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why does that look like a condom? Oh my god. Is it a. No. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I just didn't oh. like how he put his hands in that liquid. He keeps touching all the ice cream, but it's disgusting. I mean, he is oh. mentally not all there, so. Do you really think your brother's gonna uh, even... Oh, but it's it's sticky. Uh, uh, yeah, when we uh, when we learned uh, what I was saying was like when we learned that when he made his own ice cream, I thought he just like it was like a rinky dink rinky dink operation, like he made it in his house. But he has like legit ice cream making gear. How, what is it's, that? Like, how is it's he a, in geez, this what? business? Did you see the truck? No, I gotta get home. Oh my god! It's, hey, it's back to the James Bond bicycles. I'll be fine. We're riding with you. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, uh, it's like, it's like... It's like the Witch Forest Project or whatever that was called. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys. Really? I, that actually guys. did kind of look like it, yeah. Are you guys upset? Because I'm upset. Apparently, in 2014, there was a campaign to start the sequel for Ice Cream Man. Now, my question is, are you upset that the campaign was unsuccessful or upset yes. that it started at all? I'm upset that it was unsuccessful because there are only 70 backers. Uh, this okay. is very, and, like, I, this is such a niche movie. Like, I can't imagine that ever working. Like, you should, you should know that it wouldn't work. Oh, man. This is so... Gregory. Mm. Gregory Tudor. Oh, God, Anthony's getting oh man. I must ask you two to leave. Ugh. Oh. This is not he's forwarding that symbolism. Like the, like the ice cream man, he's trying to take away people's pain by giving them ice cream. And also, um, when, when Gregory was young, I don't know if you guys saw the, the the very beginning, he saw the dead ice cream man. So, like, the original ice cream man was killed, and that's who he has a picture of, and that's whose grave he went to to talk to. The, the ice cream king that he's calling it? Yeah. Okay, that Wait, makes who's sense so, now. Who's this guy, then? A uh, crazy loony... Oh, he's a doctor man. Asylum doctor? But yeah. Okay. apparently just as, uh... Off. As that rotten ice cream. This is a very odd. Yep. This movie. movie that is... I don't really know what to say. Yeah. Make, make heads or tails. I don't like. I just I, I still want him to be like killing the wicked guy because I think that's a much better character. Killing the wicked guy. He like he's a guy who kills wicked. Like that's ice cream man. Did they never mind. I mean, why would you try to kill such an amazing musical? Yeah, it's a really good musical. <laughs> Jerry, what do you what do you want about? I don't like it, okay? The witch scares oh, me. Oh, thank God, there's only 20 minutes of this left. <laughs> yeah, this is a very short movie. <laughs> oh, it's not that shit. It's short. Oh, oh. Gosh. oh, I forgot to mention, I think this is a Rest in Peace 120 recommended this. I have meant to do okay. all this at the beginning. Also, you forgot to thank Monk Turner for letting us use his theme song, Julia. <gasps> so I, I was going to do it twice in this episode. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, I tell you, I need, I need a list of things. I know, I'm not sure, I, I, I probably didn't not, tell you that last week. Why was is, he uh, not just there? Was he not just talking to these guys? Oh, okay. Wait, did he like inject himself with like, 
No. Ice cream. But what is happening? Wait, isn't that the doctor though? Is he crazy yes. too? No, yeah. I feel like the doctor is not the doctor. He was a patient and then uh, got out and then put oh, on the Oh, that's probably the doctor it. on the table. Uh, Okay, so this is the point when the cops are like, let's of, get out of here. perfect clarity in this movie, and then the rest of the movie just doesn't make any sense. I like how um, they're like, okay, you guys are patients in, in, in like an insane asylum. Um, act like zombies. <laughs> did you do any research on like maybe, people maybe with mental this film, problems? No, Maybe this not. film is actually like social commentary on what is wrong with, you know, hospitals. Yeah that need to treat people with special needs or mental illnesses, like, they're not doing it right. You can't just let them out and let them make ice cream without giving them proper health. Where are the... They don't have proper funding food. for electrical, like, you know, appliances, apparently. They don't have lights in here. It, it obviously looks like there's probably no heaters or air conditionings. Like, this is like, very unfortunate. I, I like feel like they're just walking this, out. Yeah, I feel like this is like a gigantic West Wing scene where they're just like walking through a hallway and the camera's following them as the hallway turns slightly no, I don't, for a very I don't, long time. I'm pretty I think sure they're just going the in a wing. circle. It's not the West Wing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have to get out of here and they put their hands on their guns and then they just walked out. Like, oh. I thought they were under a threat. But they're not. It's just kind of creepy. It's like, it's, it kind of took some of the power out of the scene. I was like, oh, snap, they're surrounded. Oh, they're just going to walk by everyone? All right, that's cool too, I guess. Wait, th that dichotomy of the scene where they're like, they're getting out, and then there's like a moment where there's where they're in light and no one's threatening them, and the music yeah. dies, and then they come back to the oh. rest of the patient wings, and like now the music is back and the creepiness is completely back. This is, this is just... There's so much WTF in this that this I'm, I'm just... This makes no sense. This is, this is really drawn out. Like, this is really long. Yeah, this is like, like the, the worst... The cinematography in this is just terrible. It's, it's, and it's not explaining it's, anything it's anymore. Dumb. We don't, like, need to, like, we get it. Dumb. Like, we get it. Like... Like, that's supposed to be creepy, but it isn't. It's just dumb. It's just dumb, but it's also like, okay, we get it, we get it. Like, the crazy people took over, and the ice cream man just left. He just walked out the front door. Like, he's not supposed to be out. Got it. Check. You don't need to show me any more of this. Okay, did you just see that fake punch in the gut? Yeah, the fake punch it was is a great. foot away from the gut, and the guy, yeah, this is great. Well, he didn't want to punch the mentally challenged man. Mental, yeah. mental issue. Because he didn't have pillows to pat him. Oh, this is true. He takes out his gun now, and then walks out the door. <laughs> it's like, right door's right there. This is so... This is so dumb. This you is guys, so dumb this movie. You guys, this gives me hope, though, because we can make our own movie. I know, right? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, uh, the, the, no, Afraid of Freddy Chibi is better than this. Like, hey, I'm look, pretty his sure. Name is Detective Model, because he's the hot one. Detective Model, nice. I'm pretty sure my, like, like Spanish one video project. Oh my god, the like other cop ooh. is shooting. Ooh, the other, ooh, wow. Shots fired. <sighs> The dispatcher's what? gonna be a crazy person too. The dispatcher literally was just like, "What's the address?" This like, guy? girl, look like it up. What kind like of dispatcher not, are you? Well, this is 1995. Why is he walking? Why is he walking? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I ignore them, if I ignore them, they'll go away. Why are you walking? Oh my god! Not even just, like walking look, quickly, just okay, walking. If you're imagining just casually taking a stroll, <laughs> if you're on a nice this, April day. Imagine someone, if someone being chased by zombies, but they're just kind of casually like, "Leave me alone! Stop it! Get it! Stop!" We, guys, seriously, like that's and imagine zombies, because that's what happened. <laughs> so oh my bad. gosh! Her Image whole future. <laughs> the subtitles. Don't know what's going on. They're they're describing the colors of the scene. It's cool. Don't stop pedaling. Don't well, that's stop how, pedaling. Th that's kind of how bikes work. <laughs> Don't stop. Right? That is actually how bikes work. I want to hold on to that handbrake. <laughs> hey, look, he's like, I'm trolling you. Oh, whoa. Ice Cream Man's strong. Whoa. It's another Terminator 2 scene. He, he picked up the fat kid. <laughs> Pillow kid. Hey, Pillow no kid. fat shaming here. <laughs> it's not fat shaming. He's, he's, that's his description. They had to make him fat. By putting him in a vat. <laughs> Your ice cream. That's not a one-liner. Good. All right, shut it off. Oh my gosh, this makes me miss stitches so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can we redeem ourselves and just watch stitches again? 
like as another episode of the podcast because <laughs> that would be episode 28 it's stitches I, I, again but yeah, this time we're with jared so we can get yeah. reaction with uh popcorn falling <laughs> i heard that in the podcast jared. and i was like no why <laughs> not the popcorn oh no Shut it off. How about Congo? We punch you, kick cola, please. <laughs> Comment. You're the guys who cried. What? Right, I, I gotta go, I gotta, I gotta go grab best. a spoon. So. Oh, for your melted ice cream? Oh, gosh. I can't read that. No, no, no. You can't just grab a gun and, and go into a situation oh, okay, and kill so this the bad whole time, guy. This guy has uh, been, like, wearing pants that have been bugging me, and I'm like, what is wrong with the pants he's wearing? Are they not... Oh, wait, why would I ask you? It's a sports thing. Never mind. Uh, wrong I mean, person I'm, to ask. I mean, well, I could totally football. take a wild guess. Football. I could totally take a great guess. Football pants. Football pants. Yeah. I didn't know football had their own pants, so... What did you think? People who play football just run around naked? No, What's I mean, I'm, I'm sure they have their own uniform. Work? I mean, like, that's how some sports work, like Turkish oil wrestling. That's how uh, classic Olymp like Greek Olympics started. But then again, the Greeks were all about, like, empowerment of the body and, and being nude and all of that, so... <gasps> Being nude and not being rude. Indeed. I want him to have just kidnapped that kid. Speaking so, of being uh, rude, welcome back, Jared. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, I'm just no, <laughs> sorry. That was a really bad segue, and I apologize. What, what I is apologize. all this kind of stuff? I'm sorry, Jared. Like, I let, like, Coder Geek have a little taste of slight pretending oh. to make fun of you, but he. This yeah. is all him. This is real him. This is. That was meant as friendly chest. Seriously. I didn't create this monster. Can't give him any power at all. It went straight to his head. I want to. I want the ice cream man to have kidnapped that kid because he's recruiting them to make them into ice cream people. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, yeah. I have a whole factory now, and they're all jobs are employed, and they have four hundred one k. Parents are like, actually, and then all, you you're know, making he, more than um, me now. It's amazing, <laughs> right? And he donates to charity, and the charity yeah. is to get the wishing well um, psychiatric facility like up and running with and then once it is like he goes that. back he checks himself back in it's like whoa yeah. what a good guy yeah so that kid's just like totally okay with like i'm gonna live in this wall cool i guess so yeah i guess you have to be i, I mean, mean it looks the like he's like trying tuna. to find a way out but yeah yeah i can't figure out is he trying to find a way out or is he happy there honestly i'm still trying to figure out how his parents, parents named him tuna I can't be his real name. Like, right, is we missed it, the is part when they describe the name, yeah. It has to be a nickname. Oh, that cash register is 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 fantastically 80s. I love it. Oh, picture of a missing... There's the original ice cream. Ah, uh, okay. That, that's all right. Well, with the flashlight on his face like that, where his eyes were glowing, that was that was really creepy. Oh, why clown and mask? There's a clown mat. What? Ah, uh, because you know, ice cream and clowns and stuff. <laughs> and they thought that was a picture, but it's really him. Good. Yeah, it's a 3D picture. They had that technology in the 90s. It's one of those creepy Disneyland, um, like uh, haunted mansion things. It follows you yeah. around and breathes. How how amazing! This that's such a good. This is. He put Who's his. That? Wait, is this in slow motion? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Just... Oh. But what? why would he kill the? What? Why did he kill her? I, I, I'm, nope, I still gone. don't know what's going on in this movie anymore. So this kid doesn't want to be there. No, wait, he's laughing. What's happening? What is happening? I don't understand anything. How do people like this? I, oh, I, I fell on one of these many, many flower pinwheel things in this yard. My goodness. What? Jump it, you idiots! Okay, or that. 
Yeah, ah, you can take a, a gate violently and it will open. There's a short fence! There's a short fence! We can't get over it! It's like Big Eyes always said! You can't always find a sweet oh. kid, but you can make a kid sweet! <laughs> oh no, he killed the- When did he kill the cops? I don't know. This is funny. Wait, who? This is... Oh, uh, these are the cops that he gave ice cream to earlier, but we didn't see that he killed them. I think That's... he poisoned them, yeah. Was imp yeah, yeah. implying that he killed them, I guess. Kinda makes your head spin. Hey, there we go. <laughs> this is my picture. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. Oh my god, that's creepy. Boy, I didn't know you caught such a hard I guess there's no logic be behind him killing people. He's crazy guy, right? Like, yeah, he's just he's that's, just that's the thing. He's just crazy. He just, there's no crazy. logic behind it. Okay, then I guess whatever then. Shut up. I mean, I do like how he figured out which like yeah, like nerves muscle. to hit yeah. in order to make the mouths move. He might be one of those crazy genius people, you know. He's like super yeah. genius, but you know. His his Come. hair has started to get a little bit more Einsteiny as the night yeah. has progressed. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Tiffany to me. <laughs> Shut up, you're not funny. <laughs> he didn't even lock the vat that he put the kid in. Like he just he put chain around it. Oh my god. Now they jumped the fence. They're having so much trouble. What oh, you know what? That kid wants him to die because they call him Tuna. I mean... I was kind of... I was bullied a lot as a kid, but I never wanted to... kill anybody that bullied me. Like, that's just irrational completely. That's my theory for this movie is that he befriended... The kid was nice to him. And he's like, oh, cool, like, you're being nice to me. And the kid's like, they're mean to me. I want them to die. And then he's like, okay. And now he's like, he's crazy. So he's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll kill all the people for you. I really... <laughs> this oh, movie is just... What is happening? Sorry, Nurse Warden. Okay, well, next time Rest in Peace comes out on the podcast, we need to ask him... This is like the third movie he recommended the... that was bad, so you know what? Screw your Rest in Peace. No! No, no, no. They, like, they, still, get, they still fall within, like, what we're looking for for Buffer yeah, Buddies movies, though. They do. They are good Buffer Buddies movies, because we can talk about them, and we can make fun of them, and we can laugh at them as they're going. Laugh at them? And even if they're bad. I'm going right. to laugh at this movie. But, it's not a good one. I, I, I do love how this nurse is like acting like she's like 80, but she literally looks like she's a 25 year old woman. With yeah, I was going to say like 27, but like trying yeah. to act like she's old. Yeah. And we'll put your hair up yeah. and we'll kind of give you these old style glasses and then you're going to yeah. hide most of your body like behind a door frame. And then uh, yeah. we'll put bad lighting. Act like you're old. And we'll give you glasses that look like they came from the 60s. Why are you talking like room. that? <laughs> what is this? What, I don't even... What is this even? <laughs> they, they keep jumping over the stupid pinwheel things. I hate them. They're gonna get help, but... <sighs> jokes oh, on them. she's in on it. She's in on it. Oh, gosh. Oh, rip the two kids. Because he keeps calling her nurse, so was she not at the insane asylum with him? Because they have, oh. like, a connection. Oh. She's the one that freed them all. It's, um, it's like she's a heart. she's a Harley Quinn. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. She's the original. No. Heads up! Ew. Shoot him. Oh, he has a hostage now. Well, don't worry. The kid's wearing a lot of pillows. I'm sure he's yeah. bulletproof. <laughs> they just absorb them pillows, all. Right? Pillows stop bullets, right? <laughs> Dense ones. How did the clown... <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, it was yellow, too. Well, that's like, vanilla flavor. Vanilla's yellow. But him sticking oh. his bloody hands in it. Oh, it's, a, it's such a sticky mess. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, like, you're not like gross. I thought you were grossed out by the ice cream because it had like something in it, but you're just literally just grossed out by the ice cream. You're like, <laughs> it's so messy. How do you get on the roof? Why did he jump down? Did he knock him out with ice cream school? <laughs> He <laughs> gave them a brain freeze. Ah, uh, this guy is like such a good killer, though. <laughs> like, he got on the roof like, without he's the. Really effective, oh. but yeah, he's like, like he's taking out like his uh, like how many people has he killed this whole movie? Like twenty people so far. Maybe not that many, but a lot. And it's I'm rather impressed with him. Like his his. Wait, efficiency. this kid is like MacGyvering his own escape method out of the truck. I'm so confused. I, I don't know what's going on. You're going to be with us a very long time. And I want you to get something oh. straight. There are no bad like a shield sort of of the... Uh, oh, he's using the picture of the uh, other king dude as a shield. Wait, as a shield or is he using man. it to make the guy pr think that that's him come back to right. He's just messing Wait, with his, maybe. His, his brain head. Okay. Okay. That's the nurse. She looks the same age here. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, maybe they're not and trying to make her look the like guy, an old lady. Maybe they the, just make her crazy looking. Right, the guy who was saying there's only happy days here, that's the guy who was on the table when the yeah, cops yeah. were at. So like, uh, definitely. That they, makes sense. You know, took over. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like they, they, they took over, and then he yeah. just walked out. He's just like, bye. Yeah. Happy, happy day. Oh, the oh, original ice cream, ice cream was crazy king too. was a patient. Oh, everything is connecting now. But it still doesn't make any sense. It still doesn't no, make it any doesn't. sense. It's like it playing connect the dots, sense. and when you're done, it's just you a jumble of lines. Like, it's like, right, okay, like, okay, what was okay, this? okay, but wait. Well, yeah, I, I followed the, the rule. I followed your instructions. I don't understand. What did I make? <laughs> These IKEA instructions aren't what they what I thought they were. I don't understand. When did he get that cut on his forehead? I don't know. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I thought the kid was his friend. I thought they were allies. How did that happen? I don't understand. Uh, why is the motor on fire? <laughs> How did that? How did he get caught? Uh. So apparently the kid gave him the thing as bait, but he had attached behind it like a... Oh, what? I will this kid now was smiling earlier. That's 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 terrible one-liner and an even worse subtitle. But like, that's <laughs> but like he was smiling when he was killing people. I don't understand. I'm so confused. I'm really confused. I don't. How did the guy end up in the vat of ice cream in the first place? I think we wrote a better I've... movie during this whole thing where like he, yeah, he I... either either one he's killing the wicked or two that kid allied with him and cuz he was being picked on and he's the kid is the real crazy one. And nice man just Jared. crazy enough to let himself be like, "All right, I'll do what you say." I... Haven't you heard the song, Jared? No one kills the wicked. No, no. no wait, it's I heard, I heard the wicked. I've heard the song Ain't No Rest for the Wicked. No. Oh yeah. That's a good song too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love that song because it's it's an intro song to Borderlands 1 and it's so good. Borderlands has really good intros. I love it. Borderlands is just a great game all through. It is and through, a great honestly. game, but like so nothing like it gives you that like that kind of like that excitement like shiver down your spine when you watch those cutscenes though. They're so like they set you up for such a cinematic game and the game could not be anything less than cinematic it's such a grind where it's like shoot the guys pick up the guns shoot the guys pick up the guns can can we get hats like them uh, like buffer buddies hats oh my gosh like buffer you're buddy so... berets like but a, like buffer buddy like the b is going this way and this way and then it's the triangle do you know what i'm talking about oh that'd be yes. great yes okay hold on doing research right oh. now 
Oh, oh no, so nice. they, they put yeah. tuna in the sane asylum? Tuna, no! Cause... Well, yeah, there was something fishy about him all throughout the oh, movie. That's what I'm saying. Was he no. allies or not? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> geek. You know yeah. you were waiting for that pun. There was something hot pudgy. <laughs> what is happening? Wait, is he, does he have like a hand crank? Yeah, it's a hand machine? crank, ice cream crank. I thought it was. I, a I believe that's a picture of a Shakespeare it, on it. Ends with him like smiling creepily. What this the awful? What the fudge? What the Honestly, what the heck just happened? What? So that was that was that would be the sequel. It would be it would be um what French toast? What was his name? Title idea. S salmon. The title idea was supposed to be Ice Cream Man Sunday, Blood A Sunday, but Sunday was spelled like an ice cream Sunday. That's pretty funny. That's pretty uh, good. Uh, yeah. I like that. Holy crap! What? <laughs> that was just I what? I don't know what just happened, and I'm. I usually like movies like that, but I don't know. I feel like if we sat alone in a room and paid attention and took notes, we still wouldn't know what happened. Yeah. Like, I feel like there were just was not enough details to explain like any of that junk. That was so crazy. Um, what do? We do we what do, what do we do next? What do we, we do don't even know what we're supposed to do. We're so like discombobulated. <laughs> do we do ratings I mean, or something? Like, is there, yeah, yeah, we, we, we do, can rate we it if you rate. want, but I, I don't know um, if this even deserves being scaled to anything. It's yeah, just, I don't. I, I really just don't even know. Uh, um, it, this one's gonna be a hard one for me to rate because I really, really hated it. But yeah. there was some really funny parts in it that I was laughing because it was so like crazy yeah. bonkers funny. So like that makes me want to rate it high, but I feel like it's insulting to some of the other ones that I've rated like relatively high. So I don't. I mean, really don't know. worry about what you've rated the other movies. Just how did you that, feel? That's watching my issue this with when I rate things, though. I always try to put it into context of other things. Because if I say something's ten out of ten, I can't come out with something else and give it a ten out of ten and not like you know like that's my problem I have with ratings in general, video games, movies, whatever. So I don't want to insult my other movies, but I want to say that was like a seven, six, okay. six point five. Yeah, seven. I'm, I'm, what? Um, a six what? I don't remember any of the movie. Here, let me let me let me come back to me. <laughs> Does anyone else have ratings? I mean, um, I, I would say, uh, I mean, what I, I don't even. I'm trying to think of like what to rate it, but it's just it's so it was so bad, but it was also kind of good in like very. Oh, I got, it. I, got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, seven out of ten pillows under my shirt to make me look fat. <laughs> <laughs> Seven out of ten I like that. under my shirt. I like that. Hold on, I need to write these down. Oh my gosh! Yes, I appreciate you guys helping out with trying to track. Oh man, Jared, crazy I wrote stuff. your name down, but I wrote it with an extra D, so your name is now Jarded. 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 I come from the planet K Karthok. Jarded. Jarded. Um, How do? Wait, okay, so you uh, rate it what again? 7.5? 7, 7, 7, I'm going to give it, no, 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 uh, 7 out of 10. Let's, ah, uh, you're going to be 7, six, really? 6, 6, 6 out of 10 pillows on my shirt, yeah. 7 is a bit high for me. Yeah. There was that one yeah. scene, though, where I literally was like, I was laughing because I was so, like, I didn't understand. Um, I want my time back, says Hachiyami. Uh, don't we all? <laughs> is that what, I think we all is do. that what you rate it? <laughs> 1 out of 10, I want my time back. <laughs> That's but like um, also you like that's what this is. <laughs> this was just I don't uh, what a train wreck. Of ten a movie. out of five. I want my time back. So does it actually turn into one half? So it's one out of two. No, You're five giving out, a really high rating. No, it's it's still. Yeah. I'm kidding. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. I want my time back. Yeah, I think for me this is definitely going to be a six out of ten scoops of dog. Oh no. I'm sorry. That's the only rating thing that came to my mind. I Cuz it was just creepy and it was it was a plural noun. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I unfortunately normally I really 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 like bad dark comedies or just bad horror movies, but I can't with this one. I'm sorry, but I'm giving this a 4. Out of Ooh. 10, gagging uncontrollably because of the disgusting mess of melted ice cream everywhere that's just going to make everything sticky. But again, like when I came back and you're like so grossed out, I thought it was because like there was bugs in the ice cream or something gross about the ice nope. cream. But you're literally grossed out by the mess like in the movie. You guys So like know if you came over my house and I was like, Tiff, uh, Tiffany, Julie, oh. I made this. <laughs> Wait, 
wait, wait, I mean, I'm re- wait, I'm re- no, my rating is now four out of ten. Jared calling me Tiffany. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> but if you came over and I was like, I made this lasagna and I went, whoa, and I tripped and it fell face down and it splattered across the floor, you'd be like, uh, 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 like, because it's messy. I would probably have screamed, but I would have assumed that you'd start cleaning it up. No, but what if I was like, well, there's your dinner and I walked out of the room. Oh my god, I would have to like I would either have to clean it up myself. And if you were like, no, 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 like just leave it, no, leave I would it there. Just be the person. Leave to it leave. there. It's part of the house now. I <laughs> Oh so, okay, my god. It's again, like, yeah. me, like the idea of it like laying there in a kitchen unattended, just someone dropping going, oh well, and then like walking away is just like it, I unfathomable to me. <laughs> this was just disturbing among all comprehension. So like I it's so bad. <sighs> I wanted to. Um, oh man, I gotta. I'm gonna. I, I'm not gonna do it on the podcast. I'm definitely gonna look for like other people's like reviews of this. Like if they could give me like any more like deeper insight, like an an, an analytical breakdown of this movie. I need someone who's like, yeah. I am a movie expert. I know everything about movies, and this movie was fantastic. And here's why. I need to read that. I want to understand like what they saw. I, I want somebody to tell me like I knew there was so much wrong about that like from a cinema cinematographic point of view whatever that none, of us could talk, none of us could talk tonight <laughs> like, like like a filmographic whatever the word is I'm not sure English is hard um, but like the, there's specific reasons that they were wrong and specific things that they just completely failed at and I want to know what those were because it was just disgustingly bad yeah like the reason i gave it a six out of ten scoops of dog was because it failed as a movie but as a buffer buddies movie was, i think it was actually pretty good like it was, was actually what, an enjoyable yeah that, that's where i'm at because too. there like, was it, so much what the heck in it yeah exactly like bad movie like one like i would no don't watch this don't watch this movie unless you're listening to this podcast you're watching and sync but as for Buffer Buddies, it was hilariously chaotically bad. Like, it made no sense, yeah. and I love that about it. But, yeah, not a good movie at all. I don't understand how this has 400,000 views on YouTube with 2K likes and 251 downvotes. What did what did you watch? What did, you, what did these people watch that we, we – what did, did you watch something different than me? Or are you yeah. are, 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 are they rating it with know. Buffer Tweet Buddies? Us, you guys. Are they rating it with Buffer Buddies rating system in mind where they're like, oh yeah, upvote yeah. because I laugh so hard. Um, I mean, sometimes I'll just like upvote a video if it's really good quality, like if it's if it's well. <laughs> You're like, it's good, good job at uploading that video. But this wasn't even good quality, like not even good quality either from being high res or just quality <laughs> as a film, God. and it was just uh, <laughs> everyone uh, should name their kid Tuna. <laughs> Wait, I love them below it. Police didn't do a very good job in this movie. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was great. Let's see, some of the comments are like, I haven't Ice seen Cream this movie Man since I was eight or nine. I can't remember if this was any good. Guess I'll find out. <laughs> thanks, thanks for commenting before you watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, here's a completely out of time comment i rented the movie at a rental store vhs of course the good old days of video rental stores believe it or not we still have one mom and pop rental store here in my hometown clint howard is perfect as a psycho killer true fact by the way an enjoyable movie not to be taken seriously vhs uh, of course what yeah <laughs> as if there's like that's the de facto standard none of that beta crap or oh whatever yeah was. no betamax was no yeah. who watches who, who uses betamax anymore right Right? <laughs> uh gross. Um, oh my goodness. No wonder my mom didn't like us chasing down the ice cream truck. This was the craziest movie I've seen since Candyman. And and Julia literally just walked out. Uh, Julia, of like how, how bad we're in the middle was. of raiding. <laughs> what are you doing? You're trying to end the podcast. <laughs> Give me my orange push-up, you old tot. <sighs> oh man, this is so dumb. I'm sorry, Ice Cream Man. That's classified. <laughs> this is what happens when a porno director makes a non porno movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you were right, uh, Seichiyami. The comment from Brooke Kantu a year ago said, and also when he found her diaphragm in the ice. Oh, cream. that's what it was. Yeah, yep. that was right. Ugh. Okay, uh... anyways. Um, did, uh, is Julie's there Julia Junk? <laughs> oh, can we talk about last week for a second here? Uh, Yo, no, I sorry. won. I won the game. I can't. What happened right last now. week? 
It was I'm amazing. Sorry, but the rules. Like, okay, first of all, we'll uh, I don't care so about that. Because winning the game here, is its own prize. But second, you can't just add these rules in. You can't just like that was never a rule. I think you're making up stuff because like, what's going on in that notebook that you don't want to give me? <laughs> what are you <laughs> What are you drawing in there? It's actually it's actually wh where I write all the nice things about you and Tiffany in here. I, and so I, I don't, don't want. I don't want to. <laughs> My guess was that you just draw a lot of butts in there, and there's a bunch of butt drawings. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, uh, and the, you had to be here. Wait, wait, this almost got out. I'm, re I'm really, I'm really like tempted now to get like a different notebook and then just on every page draw on butts and send it to you. <laughs> I just really want to do that now. I'm like, I just. <laughs> I you expect really detailed. Yeah, they got to be like you're practicing, like you're trying to get down like that human an anatomy, like you took the human anatomy classes and you got like shading oh. and you're like, "Oh, I'm trying to put all my my skills together." And they're like they're like oh, just really and, like, well. Just a variety of butts, like different yeah. shapes, sizes, ethnicities, like hairiness, like and oh, then gosh. what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a picture of the original that I'm trying to like draw. Oh, no, what's happening? Dakota Geek, your microphone's going crazy. Is it? Uh, yeah. Sorry, the the cord came on a little. Yeah, it's making lots of feedback. Uh, anyways, yeah. So I won that game though. I'm more. I'm so proud of that. I can't believe it. I can't. Yeah, I, that was just, really. Uh, I want to think. You were spot point. on. You were, and you were like, and you didn't even think you were right. You were just like, yeah, I'm just gonna throw this out there. It's like super off. And I was like. How the fudge I, cakes does he know? I got in your brain. I analyzed you. I was you. like, when when Jared sent me this microphone, did he attach like a camera to it? That's right. That's really, <laughs> Dude, that'd be, that'd Sorry, be the best then. way to Sorry cheat. For... That'd be the best way to cheat, though, is like, I, I like. That's the best way to cheat. No, but I, now I know every answer. Dude, what if what if I did and I got I got like every week for like five weeks? You're like, how are you doing this? That'd be that'd be so funny. I'm like really scared. Now I'm just looking at Magic Mike like, oh, God. <laughs> That would explain the magic. Yes, I mean that's. that's oh, there's also that blinking red light that turns on. Like, right, I'm like, huh, that's really recording, cool. recording. Because, <laughs> because Jared, you're like Julia's too technology like dumb. She's not gonna know. She figure it out. And I'm just like, whoa, look at these flashing lights. Perfect for Halloween. It says video camera recording in progress when light is flashing. What does that mean? Hey, what is this? I don't understand. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I'll do the sound from last week. Again, but what do so we do? What do we do now? Someone beat the game. Oh. No, I mean, I'm sorry about it, but like, can't. It's over. The game's over. We, I won. I won them all. My I won them all for, well, forever. You won one. You have I won, to win. No, no you win but it. But you and didn't like the, because we you did. weren't here. So getting it right is winning. I don't care about the prize. I won. I won. You're welcome, everyone. Congratulations, me. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. So last week, okay. I'm gonna make the noise and then tell you guys what. Um, and I, I, I swear to God, Jared or Coder Geek, don't you dare say that it sounds different. I will hurt you. <laughs> I will not I will say that it you. sounds different from last. You're week. ruining my favorite bit. <laughs> What was that? I can't. I got you too told crazy. me not to say it, but like it, le it legit. <laughs> does. That sounds different. That it was that was a new does. sound there that was not there last week. I was trying. I was way too into it, and then I knocked a magic mic. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so that that's some context to the sound. Um, there was way too many hand movements. Do you need it again? Yes, please. Oh god, the simple yes, not to hit please. magic mic. Man, now I'm trying to figure out, like, what are you doing that requires, like, him? Okay. Tell me what it is. That sounds exactly the same as last week. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll echo um, Jared's sentiment, even if it's false. So, um, <laughs> last week, Game Dark said shuffling a deck of cards. Coder Geek, you did not say anything about dice, but you said rubber band machine gun. Sage, you said clicking a retractable, retractable pen really quick. Jared, what do you think? Uh, I think you said something like this before, but I feel like you're like you're twisting like some kind of plastic, like maybe like like like, like a tray of for cookies. You're kind of twisting okay, so it. 
twisting plastic. All right. Oh, you so know what? The- oh, oh. I'm not going to change my answer. I'm going to go with that. But I just realized why I'm having such a hard time profiling it because it's not a sound from this week. It's something that you had last week. So I should be thinking about last week and try to profile you. But I can't do that because I wasn't really here and it makes it hard. Oh, okay, anyways. gotcha, gotcha. I'm like, what is happening here? I'm like, oh, that's uh-huh. right. Because it's not right? something you made up this week. It's something. Okay. Anyways, because yeah. so I was like, actually, trash doesn't make sense. But I'm like, oh, you might have saved it because you knew you're going to need it. Yeah. What is it? So, um, Seichi was the closest. Seichi said clicking a retractable pen really quick. So what it was was two pens being hit together and clicked at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew it was pens. I, I felt like that was it, but uh, I didn't want, I didn't want to... S- I was like, that's too uh-huh. easy. You didn't want to win two times in a row. Well, no, because I, would I wouldn't have said yeah, hitting them together. Yeah, because that would together. reveal your cheating, yeah. Mike. Yes, I had I had <laughs> to right. plant some fake lose, loses in here. Uh, I don't go. know what it is. I, it could right. be whatever. Well, right. I was going to so say now, retractable pens, but I knew that, that's not liability. the answer. I knew that would right. be like too easy. So I was All like, right. well, there's no point in getting close and not getting it. But I wouldn't right. have guessed the hidden part. Oh, yeah, wait, hold okay. on. I need to hold on real quick. First. Hold on. That was not the sound, but uh, right, iPhone camera. camera. iPhone <laughs> camera. I got it. I got. I know this. I'm so good. I don't have a camera hidden. Jared, we're amazing. Ready? This is the sound for this week. All right. What the hell? Uh, you're gonna hate me, but. <laughs> that sounds a lot like dice, but not rolling the dice, like just scraping them along a surface, like like just like uh, you along and a flat die need to s- you it, 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 you die. bought dice for this. It's it's a it's you've done it. It's a trick hiding in plain sight. Okay, so die being scraped against what? Uh, can you replay the sound one more time, please? Oh my gosh, you guys! You should pre-record these. <laughs> there. Bing. A die being scraped against, mm, against like a mouse pad. I'm thinking <laughs> that might be too soft. Hmm. Okay, all right, Jared. What do you think? Um, shoot, I'm, s- gosh, like it's so hard to like think of like what random object you might have. It's like there's zero context to it. I've been, I was, um, I've been researching. Yeah, see, that that's the thing. Like you, can, like I'm I said, like you. Get can, it. You should pre-record these, and if you do, you can just like literally get. You can, like it's a subway station. Like it could be literally anything at that point. <laughs> like, um, oh man, what do I want? I, I want to say, yeah, it definitely sounds like you have something inside of something, and you're kind of moving it around inside of that thing, like a plastic, some kind of something. Um, <laughs> okay, so plastic. It's, some it's kind something, of something, something with the something against rubbing it. Something. That's what. I, that's my guess. Fine. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I want to say like. Ice? Um, oh, you know ice, what? Ice cream? You, you got up. That's what you went to go get, right? No. You went, okay. What's, what's right outside your door? What's outside, what's, what is that? Is that what, what is there? Is it some kind of <laughs> sink? <laughs> I want to know. Um, you've got up before. You washed. Like, you, there's like a sink there, right? Tooth, toothbrush? Toothbrush? I want something with a toothbrush. <laughs> What was it? Uh, toothbrush. Um, it's really creepy that you like. I'm really concerned that there's a camera like <laughs> in my microphone. Like, no, I'm putting together like information from previous podcasts. Um, but how do you know that my toothbrush is specifically at that sink, not in my bathroom? I don't. How, how do you know, know that, Jared? I don't know that. Do you know I'm just that? guessing because I think you brush your teeth or something. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I like. I got, piece, but, but. You know how I know? Because you just told me. Whoa, mind freak, mind freak. <laughs> David, wait, no, um, magician. <laughs> oh god. Um. So um, toothbrush. I'm gonna go with toothbrush because you kind of gave that away. Um. Shoot. But what are you rubbing it against? You're hitting it against something. Uh. Uh. Dice. Oh man. <laughs> dice. <laughs> Russian dice. I got it. <laughs> team up. Team up. We we both win if that's a, if that's the right oh answer. My god. Um, so what did you eat? Oh, I should pay more attention to what you eat. You were focused on like you were so focused on your own tower of food that it's just yeah. I know my whole <laughs> tower of food is very important to me. Oh, yeah, you have a green drink, uh, so that doesn't help. Um, <laughs> random curiosity, green you is your a favorite drink of some sort. So, green, green drink. Oh, what brush, because I'm in brush. Japan and it's green? 
Yeah, all everything green in Japan not, is matcha. Okay, well that didn't sound anywhere nearly as not <laughs> well, racist Cody as it should have. I'm sorry. Write that one down. No, um, so, it's just a, like a green veggie and fruit. Green. Okay. So my favorite color is green, and she has a toothbrush. So that must mean that it is. Oh, I cannot I picture, figure out. I picture like the thing where like when Jared's thinking, like all the mathematical like yes, that's are, exactly like, what's around yep. him, and he's yep. like. I cannot figure out what you're hitting it against. Five. I don't know, Jared. Have you learned from Mindhunter? You should know Four. this, like like investigative techniques, like like get Three. into the mind of the person. You gotta you gotta Two. hack their mind. Some, some kind of food plastic Answer. food container, plastic food container toothbrush is kind of like in it, something like that. Toothbrush in a plastic food container. There you go. I don't know. Damn it. I know I'm going to be like, it, I know I'm going to get it way off, but it's going to be something from like that sink. And it's like toothbrush or soap or. Uh, <laughs> you used to wear oh, your retainer. Or, or did I know? Earlier. Did I oh, know man. and have I, this set up ahead of time and put something that normally own, is on my desk? Oh, Moriarty. With you're you. always one step ahead of me. I am. Do you still wear your retainer? Of course is it a retainer and shaking it in the case? <gasps> That's a re- dang it! I can't use that. I now. know now, you, or unless unless you use it and it's like again, you're hiding it in plain sight. You wait like twenty weeks and you're like, oh, what is this? Yeah. And no, yeah. But then wait, if you get unless, it right unless, and you're there, do I have to just, send you my retainer? Yes, you do. <laughs> and like it has like you. I'll just I'll so just bend gross. it so it fits my teeth. Ew, it's gonna have like <laughs> plaque on it and no i'm kidding um on it. unless you just said that right now to throw me off to make me think that it's not i don't that know this week. i don't Ooh. know what are we doing okay. oh i hate this um, game i hate this game oh, being, and then, oh shoot this game is Say stupid cheating. and i'm trying to play it i'm trying to play you the game that you, you can't love win this game. i know but you, I, you can't win the it within the rules of the game I'm, yeah i'm really you hoping it. you won it last week man that right? wasn't i'm really i'll never win it again I'll never I'm do that again. That there's a um a podcast listener who like is a frequent listener who like just know like is really good because they listen to like ASMR stuff like all the time. So like oh, they are that's how you do it. And you they're like practice. yelling at like you guys for guessing. They're like, you fools. It's this. It's obviously this. Like, how did you not know it was two pens being clicked and tapped against each other? It's so fools. obvious that it's it's thumbtacks frozen in ice, then rolled in, in dirt and you it's obvious yeah, God. Like, duh, like how dumb are you people like i really hope there's someone that's just like you f- i wonder well just no yelling mind. at their at their podcast app right yeah. now Road smashing music. their phone on the ground how bad we're doing right but yeah so it looks like um seichi's away from keep so maybe uh, um later seichi can yeah just remember podcast something. listeners we do not advocate either smashing your phone against the ground or murdering teens yeah we don't mm-hmm. advocate the murder of children or teenagers and but also, if you're gonna have to choose teenagers we don't, con- we don't condone unsafe food practices please yes, get your absolutely. food handlers certificate or yes. and also please don't escape from insane asylums or whatever the more pc term is for them i don't mental uh, mental hospitals i mental guess mental hospitals don't escape for those those don't yeah don't also do just remember kids we don't condone wrecking yourself before you tiffany check yourself yes so just use imdb when in doubt we, right? we do don't, recommend don't we, do, we do advocate what would diplo do <laughs> What what would Diplo do? And I think I think yeah. with that question, Ask that your, is a that is the perfect place, place for us to let you think and contemplate. <laughs> what indeed would Sir Diplo do? All right. So remember, you guys, BufferBuddies.com <laughs> is the place to go if you want more information on the podcast and where you can vote for movies. Uh, that's on Reddit. But all the links and all the information are on BufferBuddies.com. So you can head over there, look at find past episodes, and as well as the link to our Discord where you could join in on the podcast, and also the Reddit where you could suggest and vote on next week's movies. Um, you also want to thank Monk Turner for letting us use his song for our Yay. theme song. That's the one that goes. Oh, you my know, ears. it's that Ow. song. It, it's pretty um, wild. It's good. I want to thank uh, uh, Tetsuyami for coming out. Um, we had a really small cast this week because everyone's busy. Tiffany's at LA Comic Con. Oh my stuff. god, we didn't introduce what? ourselves earlier. We probably didn't. So I'm Jared from Up Down Up Die. <laughs> I'm Julia uh, Guria from Japan. <laughs> well, I'll just cut off Koda Geek there. Rude. I'm just Peter. And it's fine. It's fine. I don't mind. Uh, I'm Peter, aka Koda Geek 42, friend of Up Down Left Eye and Julia. Yay. Cool. Um, was there anything else we need to mention? We I had think. Seichiyami in chat. Uh, yeah, yeah. He was silent. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just the four of us. Just the four we of us. We can make it if we try. Yeah, I love it. 
the what, phone, what is he bro. saying hangover like i'm a lone wolf but now for lone wolf, i don't even know i'm sorry you guys i messed that and up and that's <laughs> why it's called Speaking up down of, left eye there you buddy um and yeah, so check us out on on twitch as well um this week's gonna be around a short stream and whatnot but yeah. we have a lot of cool stuff coming up i've been playing a lot of super mario odyssey in my free time so you can check that out probably try to get back into zelda as well i don't know uh, whatever Jared. check it out but also check at the same out. time don't because reverse okay. psychology so you don't mm-hmm. want to check it out yeah. like don't do it don't it's too don't. good for you too good for you, yeah. you guys way too good Jared, like, will you have any it. will you have any holiday streaming sorry any halloween streaming uh well we've been doing kind of scary games all month long sort of more or less on and off our, our last gay dre renee i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her name oh yes um you had the uh, vr screen yeah she, she did vr thing. like horror cool. games and it was pretty yeah. funny i'm um, also really good at those two podcasts yeah I'm yeah really good we at don't VR zombie we games. definitely don't have a clip of julia falling down during a, the menu screen of a game wait the you game, guys, what what what, what, is, what is that what is that um it's a, it's a skeleton bone like it's just it's a t-rex head it's a t-rex head no it's a t-rex head and then and then oh my god it's a mars rover it's it's a little robot what would happen though if that's what freaked me out what would happen if there was like a vr interactive like where there's a mess escape room but there's a mess yeah yeah it's and like, it just keeps growing like oh my it, god it's not even an escape I, room it's just like just walk out of the room you're like oh that's easy and then a puddle of ice cream forms right in front of the door and you just oh start oh my god you just all you have to do is walk out just walk out just walk out just walk uh, out just walk out you're gonna you're gonna just lose keep you coming. Don't wa- just walk out nope can't walk past that it's real sticky real sticky mess right there just walk out <laughs> oh my god, walk right over it. it just walk right <laughs> Just a little hop. The longer you wait, the bigger it's gonna get. It's gonna fill up the room. It's gonna get real messy. Crying. It's gonna be real sticky. No. Oh, I it's like taffy. Bling. It's so taffy like, <laughs> but it's liquid. But it's liquid like, but it's like taffy. Oh god, on your shoe. It's on the tip of your shoe. You're up against the wall. It's, you're up against the wall. It's, it's on the tip of your shoe. Oh, you're lifting your shoe. Oh, it's stretching like cheese now. It's stretching. It's it's slowly losing for your you shoe. You have an amazingly good descriptive aptitude. Thank you. That was always my strong. I got. I got it. I got 100 on my creative writing assignments in high school. All right, you guys. Catch us later for next week's movie. We'll decide that later. Good night. Goodbye. Buffer. Ing. We got to get a Thank good sign off. Thank you for listening. Bye. 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 Good night. I don't know why I disconnected. That's not how you end the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I just left. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's, thank you.